Hello, I just got AT&T U-verse. Hopefully it won't be a mistake. It's been a mistake in the past, but too good of a deal to pass up, so going back at it again with AT&T. And it, uh, the internet that they gave me, the modem came with a wireless router on it, and we're going to set up this wireless router together. Okay, so you're going to need to look at the sticker that's on the bottom side of this. I'm not going to flip it over and show you the actual sticker because it's got all the information on it. Uh, it shows the network name that's being broadcast on Wi-Fi and the password for it. Uh, it also shows your device code, uh, which is the password to log in to the router itself to make uh, changes. All right, so up here is the model number, and you can find the network name and password down here on the yellow sticker, the Wi-Fi network name and Wi-Fi password. Um, it's also up here in the black in case that yellow sticker is missing. So up there is a network name, and then right below it is the password. So I got mine blurred out because I don't want you to see it and you're going to need to know the uh, device access code once we log into the router it's default access code alright so we're gonna go ahead and get into this router and start messing with things you're gonna need to use this IP address the 192.168.1.254 so let's go ahead and go into our internet browser and type that in all right, so we're at our internet browser. We're gonna do the one nine. All right, so I already had it, so I'm gonna go ahead and just go there. All right, so here's our home page. You know, it didn't ask for a password, uh, and I want to change it from that that device. Uh, that other one. So, what you need to do is go to settings, and there's a lot of information I didn't want to show you. So, after it goes into settings, you want to click on access code. So, there's the uh, current access code that you need to enter. That is that number right there, the device access code. So, I'm going to go ahead and punch mine in. Alright, so I got my current access code punched in. I'm going to select use a custom access code and now I'm going to punch in my password and I'm not going to show you this part. Okay, got that all entered and it made you put in your password two times and then gave you a hint phrase or you created a hint phrase for your password so save I I assume it took it it oh there it goes it's up there so configuration successful yay alright so now now I want to change my SSID I'm going to go to LAN to set up the new SSID. And now I'm going to go to Wi Fi. Yeah, messing with these things will make you get kicked off. So now I want to change my SSID and my uh, passwords. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so I got my new SSID entered right there. And 
Now I'm going to click on use custom Wi-Fi network password. It'll let me. All right, now I'm going to do this and not show you. Okay, uh, for my 2.4 gigahertz uh, broadcasting, I got it set up with the new SSID and new passwords. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now for the 5 gigahertz. Okay, got my new SSIDs entered and my new passwords. So now I'm going to hit save. So our device access code that we just changed is now required in order for it to accept these changes. So we're going to enter that. Okay, it's entered. It's going to accept the changes probably and kick me off. I'm, let's, let's see what Wi-Fi networks are showing up. Still shows me connected. Okay, just kicked me off the AT&T one. connecting to me to my original one and there you can see my new one the leveler 2.4 now let's connect to my leveler and see if it works I'm going to do my passcode again it's connecting and it's, it's there it goes connected no internet for some reason disconnected connected <laughs> okay I think, I think we're finally on <sighs> exhausting oh there's my level of five well, let's go to that one let's see if it works um Okay, there it is. All right, so got my Leveler 5 connected now. So both of them worked. I was able to connect to both. So what we learned here is how to change the device access code, which is your main password to log into the router, and then your SSID that broadcast that you connect to on wireless, and the password for that. So hope you learned something. I hope AT&T works out. And I hope it's working out for you. Like it if you like it and subscribe.